top 22 wrestlers of 2022, but it's 2023. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today I needed to. I'm running back an old list. Let's go. Where did they go? Where did they end up? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ha, Nader Tube, baby. Bro. Hey, yo, the champ is here. You are watching Nader Tube. I'm Uncle Nate. I am a fanatic of sports and our wrestling. And this is the show. You are watching Nader Tube. 24, 7, sports. Scotty Barnes. What the fuck? Face. I'm an old motherfucker. Let's go. Oh shit, they dropped my phone. <laughs> Cut. We back for more. Welcome to Native Tube, motherfuckers. What's up? Happy New Year. Native Tube, Native Tube fans. I got the mask on. You know, it's 2023. Happy New Year. Uncle Howdy in the place. Uncle Nate, Uncle Howdy. It's the same deal. It's me. Actually, never mind. Listen, this video was just a preview, preview. I did a video uh, last year. Last year, you know I'm late on everything. Top 22 wrestlers that I'm going to predict who's going to be the top 22, my favorite 22 wrestlers of 2022. Obviously, I did a whole year and I didn't even do that video. So I'm not really going to edit it. I actually got my boys too. I got Boyo and uh, Ick and a couple others to do their top five wrestlers of 2022. I am going to just, I'm not going to edit it. I'm just going to run all the clips. I was in my crazy Phoenix mask, you'll see. And I was doing some shit so I'm going on my, on my, it's, it's not a vape. It's a weed vape. So it's a, <clears throat> it's a weed pen. All right. Don't, don't, you better know that. All right. Uncle Howdy with the with the THC, not the whatever the other stuff is. Anyways, Uncle Nate, you can find me at N A I T U D E on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Links and stuff in the in the description. I'm just going to run this clip and then all the clips, and you'll see. We'll, we'll just you'll just see. Maybe it, it will be interesting to see where who they are and uh, where they landed and if they did well in 2022 it's not gonna be crazy edits i'm just gonna run it straight and y'all can uh thanks and, and just thanks for watching and uh and uh let's see if they do better in 2023 and let's see where they are in 2023 and see if my predictions even were close to anything anyways see y'all later i've got some more real content in the future but really uh some stuff is about to happen in my life so uh, stay tuned and um, happy new year. So we taking over, man. This is me and my boys. We coming through. You can see our side of our our point of view on wrestling, on sports, on uh, uh, wrestling and sports. This is fucking channel is about. Anyways, and this is Uncle Nate, and this is going to be it's, this time. It's this is about me because it, it says Nate a tube, and I'm Uncle Nate. <laughs> That's how it goes. My top 22 wrestlers that I'm going to give a fuck about that I'm looking forward to watching in 2022 coming at you. All right? That's what we got today. I need it too. Happy New Year, motherfucker. We talking about the top 22 wrestlers I fucks with in 2022 today on Native Tube. Let's fucking go. We want to smoke. We want to smoke. Especially when it's a digital talk. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. Let's go, Nate Two. All right. Welcome back. It's Uncle Nate. N A I T U D E on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Thank you for coming here, subscribing, li listening to my shit. You know, I am a old motherfucker. An old motherfucker who watches a lot, a lot, a lot of wrestling and a lot of sports. And most people do not agree with me. <laughs> and you're probably not going to agree with this list. But you're on this channel. Uh, please, uh, thanks for being on the channel. And do what everybody says. Smash, smash, smash the like button so I can afford to get a new camera. So, hey, kid, so you won't see any more glare. <laughs> I mean, he keeps buying weed. How come we can't buy a new camera? Shut up. Shut up. Priorities, motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, this is Uncle Nate. I am a big time, big time, big time, big time, big time, big time wrestling fan. Obvious fucking Lee. I am also a big time baseball and basketball fan. And that's mostly what this channel is about. But I got some of my boys, my other brown skinned boys from Guyana and Trinidad and, and Pakistan. The brown boys, and we come here on the 82, but it's my boy Ick, my boy Danny, we call him V1, and my boy Boyle, and my boy Raj. We come in here on YouTube, and this is us telling our side of the story, our opinions, our thoughts, just our list, whatever the fuck we want to do. This is Native Tube, and, uh, yo, I hope you enjoy our shit. From New York to the six. You are watching Native Tube. Yo, you're watching Native Tube. Uh, yo, why don't you go to my my Instagram right now too? It's Native Tube, and you can do my Twitter as well and TikTok. Yo, might as well go to uh, Nate's Caps, Nate's Caps, and Tees on Instagram and coming soon on YouTube. Uh, and yo, might as well check out. Swagucha's Instagram and his his YouTube. I'm gonna do some more stuff about it with, with, with him in the, in the future. Anyways, thank you for commenting, liking, subscribing. Smash that fucking like button, and I got a lot more shit for you in 2022 and beyond. Get my ass to at least 1K in 2022. You think you know me. Uncle Nate here. You know who the fuck it is, Uncle Nate. Or is it the man? Swigger, 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 swag luch. That's my cosplay, motherfucker. You know who the fuck that is. Listen, 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 listen. It's 2022. It's a new fucking year. Brock Lesnar's a champ. Can't you tell it's a new year? <laughs> oh, Lord of mercy. I mean, Brock Lesnar is obviously in my fucking list because I'm interested in Brock Lesnar. But uh, I thought it was day one. I thought it was a new year. New Year, don't care. We got the same champ over here. <laughs> Anyways, fuck all that.
It actually means the finally, finally, finally. It just kind of fell into place. Fell into place, motherfuckers. It fell into place. Lashley. Brock. They're just, I guess they're saving Roman versus Brock for Mania. But finally, they're going to get Lashley versus Brock at Royal Rumble. I ain't mad about that. I ain't mad at that for sure. <laughs> Let's go. We're going to run down the list. At first, I was going to do this like... I was just going to make this quick. Like, you know how long it took me, this, this fucking video to, is, is taking me to make? I didn't even know whether to make it or not. Then I said, fuck, I got to do it in the first week, right? So, like, um, and I have re actually recorded, like, two videos in the middle of this sitting. Like, I, I decided to do a trailer, which I don't even know if I'm going to use any of that footage. But, you know, you might see this hat and the Hurt Business shirt in the trailer. And then you'll know it was from this, the setting of this thing. Anyways, let's run down the top 22. All right, so we gotta start from number 22. Wait, man, uh, if I have the shirts of them, uh, shouldn't I just wear their shirt? It might be more appropriate. <sighs> What's gonna take so fucking long to do that shit? Hmm. Woo I got the sauce boss. At number 22, we got Enzo. Enzo Amore. I gotta get some of his uh, his new shit. Of course, I gotta bust it. New shirt, new hat, you know what I mean? Raptors, baby. Anyways, number 22. Enzo Amore. Why? Because I fucking like Enzo. And he's going to MLW. And he's doing, <laughs> he's a fucking hilarious heel. He's, i seen him on his tour on the Indies. I fucking like Enzo. So that's why Enzo's on my list. Enzo, number 22. Now, I ain't changing until I have to change the shirt. <clears throat> and I don't have no no shirt of number 21. Number 21 is new. As a new as a motherfucker. I'm a, I should have maybe, I don't even have a shirt of his brethren's. Literally, his brothers, his Uso brethren, and his number one cousin, Solo Sequoia, in NXT. Yep. That's who the fuck I am interested in, in the Uso third brother. So, number 21, Solo Sequoia. That's who I'm interested in in 2021. And 2022, what the fuck? I was interested in him because of 2021. And now I want to see what the fuck he's going to do in 2022, where they're going to push him. Like, are they killing him already? I don't really give a fuck about Zion Queen. Well, I do, but Solo was the motherfucker I want, you know. Uso, brothers. Not me. 21, Solo Sequoia. Send hook. Send hook. I don't have a Taz outfit. I guess I would wear a Taz outfit. Uh, and then when they make a hook outfit, I might, I might actually do it. You know, my... Uh, listen, let me tell you something. My eye... Yeah, you know, I know they're Italian. They're not black. They're not brown. Hey, but I look like Taz when I was younger, and my baby boy is like, has the haircut, and he's cute as hell. Like, like he's good looking, man. Like, like, like Hook. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, they 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 build, they build him into a monster, no selling motherfucker, and I love Taz. So, Hook's number twenty. So number nineteen. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know who who this guy is. <laughs> Fix this camera. I mean, I have a camera stand, and I'm not even fucking doing this right. Huh? 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 Yeah, I never seen no McDonald like that, no Ron McDonald like that. Number 19, Dirty Ron McDonald is crazy. He's cor he's fucking nuts. Nuts. And I love it. I hope he goes somewhere. Not WWE. But I hope he goes to somewhere where I can see him more. His character is hilarious. And he's fucking nuts. <laughs> 19. You know what's actually sad that I don't have a... Uh, did I say 19? I meant 18. Number 18. It's actually pretty sad that I don't have a gender... Uh, a gender hat. or uh, I mean a gender shirt. <clears throat> but... Number number eighteen, Jinder Mahal. 
I gotta represent, I, you know, I know they're fucking around with him being in a tag team with Shanky. And I don't know if Veer is going to, uh, is Veer going to be coming the whole, is that his gimmick? He's coming for the, he's going to appear at next day one. That's actually going to be on Sunday next year. I don't know. Jinder is my man. Number 18, Jinder. Woo! <laughs> Seventeen. DK, DK, Nikki. Nah. <laughs> well, you saw the graphic already. It's, it's, it's Alistair. Don't call me Alistair. Call me Malachi Black. But maybe you could call me Tommy Ed. I'm just like wearing the MDK shirt. What? I like I like Malachi Black, and he has a cool story. Like that's about it. <laughs> He's doing some good shit. I want to see what he's doing in 2022. Malachi Black, number 17. 16. Ready? No, wait. Dante Martin? Really? Hmm. What was I smoking when I made this list that day? Nah, I'm kidding. I love Dante Martin. Nick, I flies all over the place, just like Phoenix. Phoenix is, should be on this list, but he's he might be like 24 or 25 or something like this. It's a pretty hard fucking list. You know, when I, when I, you'll see down the list who I look for. I love the Lucha Brothers, but everybody goes ape shit for Phoenix. But I mean, it's cool. It's supposed to be about Dante Martin. Dante Martin, number, what is he, 16? <laughs> that might be his age, too. Yes, I snorted. I think I'm getting too hot. Number 15, John Moxley. <laughs> it's the first of the shields. I should do that every time there's a shield person. It's not Dean Ambrose, though. It's John Moxley. I fucking love John Moxley. When he comes down, he's just fucking causing havoc. <laughs> I shouldn't have had a lucha mask on for John Moxley. Number 15, John Moxley, top 22 of 2002 that I'm going to give a fuck about. <laughs> What's up, Native Tube family? Uh, this is Roger Nefex just checking in. So my top three for 2022, I think uh, Tessa Blanchard needs to sign with AEW and make some moves even with her dad being there i think she would be a good fit for the women's roster i think alex riley needs to come out and get back into it get maybe get into aew and and do something i always liked him when he was in wwe and my last pick for 2022 doing big things is Liv morgan um i think she's just overlooked and she needs to make some big moves while she can while her career is uh, still relevant what is it? Number gosh. I bust out the Kurt Angle shirt from this angle. You suck motherfucker. <laughs> Classic with the black J's. For number what is this? Rohi Raju. That's right, my dude. <laughs> no, I love, fucking love him. I don't think he's in impact anymore. He just like did this tweet. Said he was gone. Fucking I am excited where the fuck he's gonna be. He's probably gonna go to AEW, but if he goes to WWE, he's gonna tear it up. He's probably gonna go right to NXT. Whether well, they're gonna waste him and, and release him, and he's gonna go to AEW, but yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. I'm excited for Rohit. If you don't know who it is, go fucking look, man. Hakeem Zayn, bad man, Indian man. Rohit Raju or Hakeem Zayn. Number, what the fuck number is he? Fourteen. Number 13, I mean 13 is usually reserved for orange, right? So I kind of got Taz in there. 
right? Orange Cassidy. I got the fitted, fitted, you know, you know, you know my stees, you know my stees. Orioles, classic. Orange Cassidy. Get out of splash of color in this list. Number 13, right in the fucking middle. I guess 11 would be right in the middle. Close to the middle. Number 13, Orange Cassidy. Should I put up on my hands in? <laughs> Listen, I fucks with Orange Cassidy. I say, fucking, he's this amazing fucking shit. WWE would ruin him. Uh, but his name doesn't make any sense. <laughs> they would probably make him like an orange juice salesman. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't know. Fine. It is perfect for somebody who's high <laughs> and for who loves wrestling. That's it. Everybody who likes wrestling and like sports entertainment, you love Orange Cassidy. He goes on this list. It doesn't really matter which where he is. He right now he's at number thirteen, but at one point in this list he was number six. I was just. Got to fix around shit. Oh, wait. Why, why are you still in that shirt if you're doing number... Because I didn't want to... You know, I had to change the shirt to an orange shirt. And I was, had the pile of black shirts together. And then I had to go all the way over there to go do, do the orange shirt. So I'm going to fill the orange shirt at the end. You'll see. If you see different color shirts, this is a secret. If you see different color shirts... It's, I, it's, I filmed them at the end out of order. Don't, don't teach the Wu Tang secrets. Oh shit. I didn't even pull too much. Oh no. Oh shit. I might have killed it just on this one thing. Oh fuck it. <laughs> number. Right, that was number 13 was, was orange, right? So number 12. Oh god. Am I a fuck? Is Sammy? Yeah. Sammy Guevara. Guevara? Guevara. 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 Sammy Guevara. Sammy Guevara. 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 He flips around and shit. But I don't know. He's like in a love connection now. He's like fucking putting his blog about, ooh, we kissed. The fuck? Are you 12? Okay. You left? I don't know. I don't care about his real life drama where he proposed to his girl on AWTV <laughs> and then left her for a Tay Conte. Ty Conte, whatever the fuck. I don't give a fuck. Just go in the ring, get your belt back from fucking dickhead douchebag Cody. Alright? Summer Gabara. 12. Alright, I was a little. Oh, oh. Stop shaking the camera. Dude, the dude to Kevin Nash. All right. But with like a real camera, I'm so fucking high, I can't do the difference. <laughs> All right, look. So I mixed up 12 and 11. So it doesn't really didn't make a difference. Number 11, Cameron Grimes. I wish I had a million dollar match. I fucking love his Wall Street gimmick and the whole entire saga of him ever at LA Knight and how, and even pre before that when he was kind of battling to DiBiase and then he got it, but then, I, then he gave it back because I guess DiBiase can't be with him the whole time. And then he's still kind of doing it now, but I don't know. I, th I think they should do more, more, <laughs> uh, more Cameron Grimes, million dollar kind of hilarious gimmick because, you know, what do I think about Cameron Grimes? His career is going to the I just wanted a chance to edit to the moon to me blowing smoke. Camera Grimes eleven. Yo yo yo, what's going on, Nate Doom? Big Boyle here. AKA the football guy. But today we're talking about the 22 wrestlers and they be fucking with in 22. And I'm going to name my three. I'm going to start at the bottom. Number three, Braun Breaker, the son of the dog face gremlin. Now that he's champ, I want to see what they're going to do with him. I think they're putting him out there too soon, to be honest, if you want my opinion. 
But that's just me. I'm going to see where he goes from here. If they're going to call him up to main roster or what. Number two, Kenny Omega. Now that he's done being the belt cleaner, I'm just wondering what's next for him. Is he going to continue to wrestle? And uh, you know, will he move on to a management position? Or you know, move on to WWE or somewhere else? I'm interested to see that. Number one, wrestler that I fuck with, Will Ospreay. I just saw him perform at HOG, and it was amazing. I've been a big fan of his for a long time. And I finally got to see him live. So those are my three picks. Big boy. Ooh, top ten. I better change the shirt and the hat. What? The, that wasn't really much of a transition. You better upload this stuff to the cloud and then... This, nobody wants to see this. Number ten. We're going classic. Classic New York. You gotta go to New York, right? For huh? New York Yankees. Fitted, motherfucker, fitted, right? You want to know who the fuck it is? Uh-huh. Yeah. This is original Austin 316, buddy. Oh, shit. I don't want to fucking turn around and see my fat ass. <laughs> At number 10, Miro. I don't care. Miro versus God was my, actually one of my favorite fucking... Let me sit up straight here. Miro versus God was one of my favorite uh, storylines. What do y'all think about Miro versus God? <laughs> first, first he fought for God, and then, but God forsake him, and made him ashamed to go home to fuck Lana. Now he's fighting for the privilege to fuck Lana and then go attack God in the process. Oh my God. Oh my God. Emotional damage. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Number 10. Miro. Here we go, man. Like, really, really. Like, we're in the top. We're in the top 10 now. We're in the top 10 now. Like, I don't see too much about Ring of Honor, but I always, always check. Listen, I don't just check for the Briscoes. I, I, Mark is just there. He's like an extra deli boy. Right? I always check for Jay. Jay, oh my. His promos are, oh my God. Now, Eddie Kingston is also close on this list. But, like, if you had to do passionate promos, it's like Eddie Kingston and Jay Briscoe. You know? <sighs> Number nine. Jay, and his work is good, too. Yeah, but it is where it is in this list. It's fucking. It's one day I made a list. <laughs> Number nine, Jay Briscoe fucks with on the top 22 for 2022 so far in January. They're going to AW. We the ones, baby. We the ones. Listen, listen, I don't give a fuck what y'all think. That fucking two-year storyline is the fucking funniest, best. It's, I don't know. I love the Roman Reigns storyline. I like Roman versus Rock. I like when he did it, when Roman versus Kevin Owens. I like even versus Dan and Brad. I Roman versus Edge. Everything. Everything. Roman is, Roman versus Cena. What the fuck, man? If Roman came back and he fought Austin, I'd lose my mind. <laughs> I mean, he would murder him, but like, shit. Roman gets the coveted Nate spot. Number eight. It should be, you know, it was WWE, you'd be number one, right? For me, you're number eight. The Nate spot, Roman Reigns, top 22 in 2002. Zero. Miedo. I don't know how to do it. I don't know. Pentagon. <laughs> I'm too high to do the rest of it. <laughs> Pentagon. Number. Where am I? <laughs> right. Let's book it up. 
compose yourself, compose yourself. Just like Damien Priestess, you gotta get the inner Damien. Maybe I, I think, I think I need to get the inner venom out. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's get serious here. I should have did a shirt change. Pentagon is number seven, motherfuckers. I fucking love Pentagon. Listen, the same like I told you about Phoenix. I love I love Ray, but Pentagon's the motherfucker I look for. Uh, he was like the Impact Champion, the Lucha Underground. Like he was like heavy. Get the fuck. He was heavy in their storylines. He's like the still like Lucha Libre legend. He's in Lucha Pen, but they only care about Ray Phoenix. I why and why isn't Penta in like a singles? He should be in the T. t oh. Well, listen, I don't give a fuck. I only care about where. It doesn't have to be only in AEW. Listen, you can love AEW all you want, but I like somebody and they're not pushing him the way I want him to push him. Like, great. I know, he's, he's, they're pushing him as the champion. I'm really high, so maybe I forgot about that. They're pushing him as the champion, so hopefully in 2022, they do elevate Penta and they don't just leave him in the dust to elevate Phoenix. So they elevate Rie and they elevate Penta. And, it's not, and they don't make them fight each other. Penta 7. I don't have a Brock shirt, so I gotta be composed for Brock because I don't know, somehow I think he might beat me up for not respecting him in this place in the video, especially when I put him six. <laughs> yeah, well, the fuck? Six. That's what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> You're the sixth person I'm fucking with that I'm looking forward to because you, I don't know, you fucking took over. I still want to see what the fuck you're gonna do. You're, you're fucking awesome. Like, I like how you were. I like. We wanted. We wanted you to win. But like versus Roman. Not versus Biggie. Ah, Biggie's not even on this list. Brock is number six. Ah, dun dun dun. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Don't kill me, bro. Let me, let me put the Paul Heyman hat on. Number six. <laughs> Brock. Yo, yo, yo. You are watching Native Tube. Coming live and direct. It's the Xter. You know who I am. Um, if you don't, then whatever. I am here to talk about 2022 or 2022 because it feels like 2020, doesn't it? Um, anyways, to the wrestling, who do I, who do I, who am I looking out for in this year? Mm, I got four people, so I know you wanted three, but two of them are kind of tied. Obviously, Roman Reigns, Big Dog, Tribal Chief, head of the table. No surprise there. Um, he's running the show. Um, him and Brock, but like, really, Roman, if he stays healthy, he's carrying the show right now. And he's uh, exciting. Um, kind of weird without Heyman, but, you know, he's improved a lot. Um, I like the whole gimmick, the whole travel chief thing, and I think it's fire. And I, if the creative is smart, and if all goes well, we'll see a, a mania with him and The Rock, which will be bonkers. Um, so that would be numero uno. I guess I should have went, uh, down from three to two, one, but whatever. Number two, who I'm really looking out for, this is sort of a tie as well, but mainly Kevin Owens. Um, I really think he should be running the show. Um, he was fire with Jericho. Um, I think he m just needs the right person uh, to run with, get some chemistry going, and uh, and obviously some good creative. Um, I thought him and Sammy would have 
brand the show by now, but Sami Zayn. Uh, I guess people are getting tired of those two feuding because, I mean, they kind of ruined it. But, um, yeah, I'd like to see him do some good stuff and bounce back near the top of the top of the charts, you know. And my number three to look out for, um, I want to say... Uh, Bray, where'd he go? I think he was always great. Um, I I kind of like that he didn't just jump over to like another, you know, AEW or whatever right away. But I do want to see him come out like really like shock everyone and just destroy everyone. Just dominate, get real Grim Reaper type stuff going on and... Uh, I like to see that, uh, just you know, scare people like Undertaker vibes and just um, go nuts. I think he has it in him, creatively and wrestling wise, and the crowd loves him. So, um, but also on that note, Strowman, uh, I guess you could call him a number four, like you know, runner runner up. Um, yeah, we need to see more of him somewhere. I. Uh, I don't know why he just kind of fell off, but again, this is a there's a lot of talent and not a lot of creative, but Strowman's a bad man, and I think he should uh, be messing people up, um, like even Lesnar. Why not bring him back? All right, yo, peace out. Five, 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 five. I mean, I am interested in rock. Check this one. Out. I am interested in rock, but no, number five. I fucks with AJ, Top Dollar, AJ Francis, Frank. I don't know what the fuck they're gonna call him now. I don't know. He got fired. Hit row, hit row. I'm that dude. I he doesn't, this is the only thing he doesn't follow me on his YouTube. He follows me on TikTok and on Instagram. And I fucked with Hit Row, AJ, any day. I don't know if, if he's even going to wrestle again. I don't know where he's going to wrestle again. But I want to find out because I fucking follow him on everything. AJ, AJ Francis, Top Dollar. Not who better than Top Dollar. Not, not a... I should have bought a sh his shirt. Maybe his shirt might be on clearance. I might get it. <laughs> Sorry. Yo, are you got do you have a pro wrestling tee shirt? For AJ? I got I need to get your AJ shirt on pro wrestling tees. Man, I should have had an AJ shirt in this. My bad. Number number five. Top dollar AJ Francis. Oh, this is the hat I should have been wearing when I Bobby Lashley, number four. Dun 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 because, but why are you shaking? First of all, I can't. Believe, I I. Hold on, hold on. All right, let me tell you why. Because first of all, I can't believe he's finally. I see, it's hurt my head. Finally, he's he's uh he's gonna meet up with Brock. He's gonna he's rock it down with Brock. He's been yearning this for years, and they're gonna. I know they're gonna tear it up. I know it's just a filler in between him to going back with Roman, Brock with Roman, but. This is something that Lashley been dreaming of for years. Lashley, Lashley's that I bet you Lashley has to go over. Lashley's going to beat Brock for the title, and then Brock is going to go over to 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 smack that to smack down at WrestleMania and get and fight for the for the universe title. I think unless they're going to unify, I don't know. Oh god, it's very stressful. <laughs> Anyways. Lashley better get this fucking title because I think he was supposed to win it. I, I think he was, like, obviously, he won it on Raw, so I think he was supposed to be the one who won it. That was the match. He was supposed to win it at the, at day one. So 
I hope I hope he wins it at a rumble. But this is what I'm looking forward to. I'm all, I'm, just, I'm just 2021, 2020. This this hurt business shit. I love. I, lastly, ah, before I don't have a shirt. What the fuck? Ah, it's appropriate because then MJF can cuss me out and tell me how stupid I didn't even have my set up, especially with my broken glass, and I only fucking put him at number three, and I don't know. <laughs> I need to get an MJF here, but I need something with some, like, man, I don't want nothing that says mid, like, why the fuck would you wear a shirt that says mid? Uh, <clears throat> I need something. I, I, I want to, I need to support MJF. MJF, number three, man, he is the fucking, he's number two mouth in the biz. He's killing me. <laughs> MJF had a fucking year in 2021. God damn. MJF, number three in my 2022. I fucks with and I'm looking forward to seeing what the fuck are you gonna do with. Yeah! Bullet, 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 number two from the Bullet Club. <laughs> the Drip God said, what? Nah, <laughs> I just want to wear the Bullet Club shirt. You know who it is. You saw the bumper right before. I wish I could. I should have come in dancing. <laughs> and I had to wear. I had to wear Drake Juicy. My wife gave me this drip down shirt. Grip dry has. It's got one of these things, you know. Should have known. <laughs> but I still like it. Drip God Owl. So I've had to get some drip for for the Drip God number two. Seth Rollins. Why? Why is he number two? Really, Seth Rollins is my favorite right now. <laughs> he's, he's technically overall my favorite. You'll see why he's not number one in a minute. But uh, I, he changed my mind. It, it only It's only recent. He, he changed my mind, like, late in 2021. And then, like, during the Edge thing, he just started, first I started hating it, and then I started laughing. <laughs> and the way he dances with his clothes, and then his, his, he's on. He's just on. Like, you guys think that... Uh, that Kenny Omega is, was on, or MJF is on, like like K MJF versus Seth. MJF is here. Seth is here. <laughs> like this is the this is the top of talkers. So there's a whole group of people that are here. And there's a short list of people here, right? Now this is the top of the talkers. So there's a whole there's a there's a lot of good talkers. Seth is upper. MJF. I don't know why I was leaning. Shouldn't be there. Seth is uh, number two. Seth, I agree with your fucking why. <laughs> Who's number one? I don't have a Seth shirt. That's why I, I wore this. Who's number one? Who's number one? Well, of course, it's the Michael Jordan of action, a wrestling figure collecting. Three P Jordan, look at this. You remember this shit? <laughs> MDK motherfucker made you D top collector. Matt Cardone, have you seen my YouTube? I haven't even finished yet because this year I gotta figure out how to do it without doing the copyright shit. But like some of the shit, you know, I reworked it so it wasn't copyright. But listen, I still gotta cover the rest of Matt Cardona's journey from 2021. I'm gonna do a wrap up. I might do a whole thing. Oh, uh, about Macardona in 2021. Maybe he might want to actually come contact me and we might do an interview. I don't know. Do they do interviews for free? To, like, people who have, like, no subscribers? I'm a monster Cardona fan, but I don't, like, follow him all around. I got, I'm a dad. I can't go anywhere. So I got to do it on the internet. <laughs> but I buy his shit. I have another... Look, 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 hold on. I said hold on. Ah, obviously. 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 I buy last shit. There's another Matt Cardona shirt in here. And Merrick, Miami. Motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to do a story on you beating Matt Cardona. Part of the story. His shirt is in here. I got to do an unboxing. I've been waiting for it forever. Yeah. I hope nothing showed. <laughs> Matt Cardona, number one. Listen. Listen, Matt Cardona had a hell of a year. He was the fucking death matched champion. What? He beat Nick Gage and then... He made GCW. He he made GC. Not Nick Gage. Not not even Nick Gage's dark side. Nick Gage's dark side made what made it maybe relevant, 
but uh, Matt made it famous. Matt Carter made GCW famous. Now the Briscoe brothers are in there, and now everybody wants to be there. Just Jerry just was fucking in there. Listen, and then, and now he possibly could be the Impact champion, and he's he's going for the NWA championship at the same fucking time. Oh my god! And he's like the internet, all this craziness that he was doing this year, and then he just he ended the year with getting married to Chelsea, like on New Year's, having like like look at this iconic photo, like fuck, hey, okay? holy. Like he already did, he already had this iconic photo. And Matt Cardona, that's who I fucking with in two thousand and twenty-two. I want to see what the fuck else he's gonna do, cause he's gonna give me content, and I fucking actually gotta hurry up and finish. Who the fuck else was I gonna put? Number one, uh, Matt Cardona. You probably agree with the boys. Tell me your comments. You don't agree? Probably you don't agree. <laughs> you probably don't agree with like any, well, maybe like three, right? Let's see, how many, you know, before you comment um, your list, tell me how many you agree with, like a number out of 22, like three, four, ten, all, uh, let me, it's no fucking way you guys agree with all. <laughs> it's my list. Rohit and Mac are not number one. No fucking way. <laughs> and Dirty Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Listen, I almost had Jacob Fatu in here. And Alex Hammerstone, because I fuck I fucks with MLW, but they're not. <laughs> and Bandino. I know you guys are going to put um, Grisham on there, but uh, I'm learning more about Grisham. Oh, shit. Did he say he's learning more about him? Movie. Thanks for following. Thanks for liking. Thank you. You really, you're, you're not going to do it in the same shirt. This is like, if I was a choir great, I love how Pat McAfee like tries to do the thing and make fun of him. If I was choir great, smoking, I'd be like. That's Corey Graves vaping. <laughs> oh, what was I gonna do? <laughs> oh, I was, this is the thank you video. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna change the shirt. <laughs> You gotta cloud it out for the west side. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the likes. Smash that shit. I am high as fuck. It's West Coast, baby. This is a corduroy LA Raiders. Okay. XPW. You know what? What the fuck you know about XPW? Make sure you go to my Instagram, Nate's Caps and Tees, as well as go to my native my native Instagram. All right, coming soon, there's going to be a Nate's Captain T's YouTube. But for now, Nate Tube is Uncle Nate. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching this shit. What's your 22 and 2022? I know yours is different than mine. I don't know why I act the way I act. I, I wonder why this fucking thing is empty. <laughs> it was full. Did I fucking smoke a gram of this shit? Nah, I smoked a lot. Maybe like a half. Maybe a quarter. Maybe. 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 <laughs> Anyways, thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing. It's native too, baby. Smash that like. If you like content like this, sports, wrestling. You know. It's like I can't stop. You know, at the back, it says, not your daddy's wrestling. Let me read.
Let me spin it for you. <laughs> Woo! We done. That's it. It's over. The video is over. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry the video is over. Listen, 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 listen. I got you, though. I have got you. It's me, Uncle Nate. You know who this is. It's Uncle Nate. This might, the boys might have been in this video, but they might be in some other videos. And if you need, if you need, <laughs> more videos from pro wrestling marks like me. <laughs> what? I am a mark. Look at this. Look at this, Mark. She you are mine. You are so sports fanatics. You want more? <laughs> Subscribe. Bring it back. Comment. Tell me what you like about this video. What didn't you like? I know we might have said something. <laughs> Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just a bit outside. Oh, I missed. This week on Native Two. I don't know why I do that. <laughs> uh. Yeah. No way, you are still here watching these screens. You're not gonna click. You are not. Why aren't you clicking? Good, watch the videos. Watch the videos. You might as well. You're watching this all. You might as well click subscribe. You're gonna click subscribe, right? Even if I muffle it up. This is the end of the video. The video is over. The video is long been over. Click like, subscribe, ring the bell. Watch the video. What am I gonna do? A blind shot? Yeah. Did I get it in? No. Well, you're still gonna click. Ah! <laughs> okay. I missed the shot. Are you? <laughs> click like. You're gonna subscribe. You're gonna ring the notification. You're gonna tell me what you like. I love this video or not. You like this ending? Let's go. Time to go. Oh shit. Well, what's the good of me is if you click and stop making me sweat. Holy shit, that was a bad idea. Whew. Ah! Why did I do that?